Welcome back to MMA Search. I'm your host, Andrew Montanez. Today I'm going to show you guys one of my favorite moves, something I came up with along the way. This arm trap I do from guard. It's one of my favorite things to do on someone that's kind of pissing me off in training or I want to frustrate them. I'll show you how to do it right now. So let me bring Devon Rick in to demonstrate. So this move takes place from guard. So going your back, Devon Rick, you can go like this. So you get your guard, lock your legs around me. All right, cool. So I'm in guard. So right here. So sometimes you get jujitsu guys. Like, oh, I can't break this guy's guard. He's got strong legs. I'm like, I need to get out of this guard or the referee's gonna stand me back up and I just wanna keep moving. So what I like to do is I'll put my hand on the guy and I'll try to like engage some sort of hand fighting. I try to make the guy wanna grab my wrist. Cause a lot of, a lot of good jujitsu guys will grab your wrist and try to get like a triangle or something. So if the guy grabs my wrist, grab it like, grab it like this. So this is usually how a guy will grab it. He's got some sort of control on it. So, you know, I do a little acting myself, so this is a good time where I show it. I, I try to fight the guy, I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't want you to have my arm. This is all an act, because I actually want him to have my arm. So what I'm gonna do is, I pressure into the guy, and I still fight this, but I wanna, I'm gonna lift my, I'm gonna drive my hips in and lift him up. I'm gonna look to get his hips off the mat. See, his, his hips and his back come slightly off the mat, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sneak my hand, I'm gonna sneak my free hand under his back without him feeling it. So I, I lift him up to my hand underneath and he should not know it's there. So I'm gonna bring my hand across and I grab his wrist with the hand that went under his back. So now his arm is trapped. So what I do is, since I had his back off the mat, I put his weight back on top of it. Now his hand is trapped under him. Really good time to start throwing strikes. The guy's only got one hand to block himself. So now is the time I try to break his guard open. His arms behind him, I pass the guard. But I have his arm behind his back, so I'm not, I'm not just gonna leave it there. So I, I want to do something with it. So what I like to do is, if I can advance to a, a mount position or opposite side control, I'll keep it here. And then I take my other hand, put it under his back, and I transfer my hands. So now his arm's stuck here. Really good time to bash the guy up. So I'll show that one more time, that little transition. So I'm in his guard. He grabs my wrist. See, I kind of pop up. I, make, I keep my pressure. My head's kind of on his shoulder. My hand comes under. I grab his wrist and I drop him down. Now I'm here. Throw some strikes, but I like to be here. Just be careful because the guy can throw a triangle up and try to throw his legs around my neck. So I can be careful. Just pass him over and come here. Guy's arms behind his back. I can take my free hand, transfer. Now you can really start putting the guy in a lot of trouble. So one more time. I'm in this guard. Right here, he grabs my wrist. Boom. Pressure. Grab the wrist here. Boom. Pass. If I can get out to the opposite side of the arm I have trapped, take my free hand, put it underneath, grab the wrist, now I take my hand out. Now's the time we bash. Try to block yourself really hard. All I gotta do is if he blocks here, I punch through an open spot. If he blocks there, just kinda pick different spots. You will hurt the guy. And if I want to switch to a submission, 
I can drop back and try to arm bar him. Or just keep pressuring the guy. Like I said, you're in guard. Try to get the guy to control your hand. If you have to do a little acting, make it seem like you don't want him to hold the hand when you really do. Once you get to hold of your hand, pressure up, get his back to lift up off the mat. Take your free hand, put it underneath, and grab his wrist. When you're ready, pull the arm underneath, drop the weight back on top of him, and the arm is trapped. Once you're there, you can start unloading some strikes, punching the guy in the face, landing some elbows, but you can't stay here too long because there's a chance of a triangle, and you want to keep moving. You don't want no stalemate position. Pass the guard, get on out to side control, land some strikes. If you can get on out to the opposite side, take your free hand, put it underneath, get control, and bash the guy and get yourself a finish. All right, so that was one of my secret moves, the arm track from guard. Don't tell anyone, but share with all your friends. Click subscribe, check out our newsletter. Make sure you check out all of our other videos, because they're awesome. I'm the Squid, and I'll see you next time on MMA Surge.